One of the essential project design elements in project-based learning is sustained inquiry, which is where students, according to pvlworks.org, seek information to investigate in a more active, in-depth process than just looking something up in a book or online. This requires students to dive into different types of information sources, not just a website or an informational book, but also tapping into real-world field-based interactions with experts. In this video, I'll provide an example of how we used an expert for our project-based STEM project, where the expert conveyed content and helped bring understanding for students. In a first grade STEM project, students designed an instrument using the science concept about sound that they learned. They were going to use these instruments to make music for the puppet show that they were creating during language arts. We had James McMullen, our middle school makerspace specialist, come and visit to talk about one of his passions, building instruments. James, a former engineer, has been working with middle school students to create all types of things like building guitars out of old cigar boxes. Due to his experience, we decided to have James come in and explain how he creates his instruments effectively to create high quality sounds. The goal was to help students understand his thinking behind his builds, specifically around the concept of sound being created through vibrations. He talked about how he chooses his materials, materials that can vibrate back and forth, springy like spruce, and also about making sure that no part of the instrument limits the vibration of the instrument, like using a bridge in a guitar. Strategies students can use when choosing materials and making their instruments during the prototyping phase. There are a few things you should think about if you are interested in inviting an expert as one of your sources students can learn from during the sustained inquiry. First, think about the performance task of the project-based unit and who in the real world does this type of work professionally. Because of their experience, they have gathered strategies and even mindsets that help them produce great work and can pass these same strategies and mindsets to our students. Next, it is important to meet with the expert and prepare them prior to the student interaction. Go over the concepts of the unit and talk about how those concepts are connected to the performance task and their work. This will help the expert understand the learning objectives of the interaction and really focus on these concepts. This is also an opportunity for you to ask the expert some questions about the strategies that they use to be successful in this particular performance task. And also learn about their process so that you can best simulate that process for your students, making the learning more authentic. And finally, prep your students for the interaction. Talk about the norms of the interaction, how they should ask questions, behave, and communicate with the expert. In addition, help students come up with meaningful questions that focus on how the concepts of the unit will help them with their performance task. Thank you so much for watching. I want to give a special thanks to the following people for making this experience possible. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more project-based learning videos like this. Until next time, stay perpetually in beta, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.